Welcome back to Croatia. We have returned to venture beyond Dubrovnik. Today we are in Mokasika. Mokasika is a district in the city of Dubrovnik. The suburb consists of Old Mokasika and New Mokasika. At the 2011 census, it had a population of 7,940. It is considered one of the most densely populated urban districts in Croatia. What church is this, Paul? Um, not entirely sure, but when I look on my phone, it just says church. So it's just a church called church. And we saw it from the bus coming in and it just looked really pretty. There's no name outside the church. There's no name on the notice board either. There's just notices of concerts community activities I suppose so if anybody does know the name of this church in Mokasika then please do tell us very pretty little lanes going through the the back streets of Mokasika and you've got these mountains in the background it's very reminiscent of Spain in some ways there's a town called Rasca Freya, where my sister used to live. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Oh look, more steps, big ones. The bus kind of just dumped us off somewhere. Uh, so, <laughs> oh my God, guard dog. <laughs> no end of excitement here. Uh, so we're walking down through some side streets. We found the church and that was the landmark that we saw from the bus. And um, getting into Mokasika from Dubrovnik is quite interesting because it goes around this sort of, well, lake it's almost, a, or, it's, um, yeah, like it almost sea. looks like a lake. It's not really, it's sort of, it's, I guess it must be the start of a river um, heading out into the Adriatic and it kind of peters out around here um, oh, but, oh god, more steps. There are some shops here, but I don't know where they are. And apparently, there is an old town as well as a, as a new town. But I don't even know where either of them are. Maybe we are in one of them right now. I don't know. But there's a fabulous marina. Um, and also, there were lots of boats that I saw from the bus. That they all look the same. And I'm thinking maybe it's a boat dealership. Well, you get car dealerships, so there must be boat dealerships as well. We've just come down the steps and there is a sign here pointing to the church. So I think it's St. Spaza. I hope that you are lapping up all our episodes. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we are, we have found the waterfront with all these lovely boats behind us. And one thing that I've noticed during our stay in Croatia is how clean and clear the water seems to be absolutely everywhere. There seems to be zero pollution. So I'm very impressed with their eco-credentials. And in the distance, we can see this fabulous bridge that we saw from the Copacabana beach in our earlier episodes. And you can tell us something about the bridge. What's it called, Paul? This bridge is called the Dr. Franjo Summertime Tudman Bridge. That's a really interesting name. That's a mouthful. I love the name of this boat. It's called 
emergency. 24-7 assistance at sea. This is quite poignant behind us. This is the war memorial to those who died in the Homelands War, 1991-93. There is also this other memorial. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. We're the best bar none, so please subscribe. During our stay at the Grand Hotel Imperial, one of the breakfast waiters has been teaching us some Croatian phrases. So we are going to share them with you now and we will put the correct spellings uh, on the screen, even if our pronunciations are not correct. So the first one that we were taught was thank you. And that is Havla. 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 I havla. kept saying it Havala, but it's it's Havla. Havla. It's almost like voila, but you've got to get the ha sound, and that is really difficult for me to get my tongue around. What about you, Paul? Can you get your tongue around your R's like that? Havla. If you want to say good morning, which is the first thing that you would say at breakfast time, you would say Doblo Utro. Doblo Utro. Doblo Utro. And again, the spelling is on the screen. Now, the other thing about that phrase is that you can use half of it. And mm -hmm. I actually used it in a restaurant and the waiter was really impressed that mm -hmm. I said Dobro about mm. the food, because that just means good. Dobro. Dobro. Now, the most difficult one, and we have only just learnt it as we are about to leave. So Paul is looking it up and this is goodbye and it really is goodbye from Croatia so it is Dovidenia. Oh, no the, well the J if you see on the screen there's a J the J Let is is pronounced as a Y Dovidenia. 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 So from Croatia, it's Dovidenia. Dovidenia.